It says Carl. What in the world is that? I mean, they've never seen anything like it. walk around video on this 1973 Ford F250 custom 4x4 high boy today. Oh, and it's a four speed. Um, really, really neat truck. And we're going to do exterior, interior and under the hood so you can get another look at it from aside from the pictures in the description. It was originally sold new at Deal Ford in Bellingham, Washington, and it has 360 motor. It is a custom, like I said before. It's got a worn winch on the front and also worn locking hubs. This truck is ready to roll and it's got green interior that's really, really nice, really sharp um, combination and also cab lights, which is one of my favorite additions to a truck. So we're gonna do a walk around. I might point out a few things, mostly I'm gonna be quiet and just let you take a look. So here we go. We just put tires on. It's got Rancho RS 5000s all the way around. There's your winch. The controllers are in the glove box. I photoed those in the gallery for you. in the write-up. It's got a few areas that show some spot repaint on it. So I tried to capture those in the photos and then you'll be able to see in the video too. It's a it's an overcast day but the sun is making its appearance as well so um, you'll be able to see what those are like. And I may not point out every little thing on the video, I'll do my best. But if I miss something that you need to see, let me know. There's the interior. My dusty feet. The floor mat's got a couple rips in it there, and then I'll show you one on the other side as well. Headliner, pretty good condition. It's got a little bit of warping per usual in these. Dash is in great shape. Steering wheel shows its age. Originally came with the AM radio. There it is. <clears throat> There's your 4x4. Sliding rear window. Door tag.
So you can see in the video, this is one of those areas of spot repaint. A little bit of wear on that, or cracking on that rear gasket. This truck drives amazing in my opinion. Um, you're welcome to come over and drive it, send someone to take a look at it for you while the auction's going on <clears throat> as well. I'll hop up there in a minute so you can see the top of the cab in the video. Drainage. Overall, really nice truck. It does have the tie downs. I didn't point those out, but it does have the tie downs on either side um, as well. Pardon the noise, somebody's leaf blowing. Summertime, after all. <clears throat> all right, I'm going to pause this and then um, we'll look under the hood <clears throat> and on the top of the cap. All right, let's take a look at the bed and the top of the cap. You can see that the, the bed has been painted at some point. that sliding rear window there's the top I'll show you the drip rails there's the whole top <clears throat> go and I'm gonna pause this really quick and then we'll take a look under the hood Let's take a look under the hood I gave myself a head start and hit the latch just right here very easy. And here's your worn winch on the front. Pretty clean under the hood. The important stuff. There's your 360. It's got the Ford 
valve covers on it. <clears throat> Dual batteries. There's the other side. Here's your radiator support. Zoom in here. <clears throat> really nice truck. Good driver. That 360 sounds amazing. We've enjoyed cruising in this one while it's been out at our house. go so there's a good look at under the hood um, again if you have any questions anything that we can help you with let us know we're happy to answer happy to um, help accommodate any requests we, we reasonably can and um, thanks for checking out this high boy we really enjoy um, selling all of our vehicles and lately we've been enjoying the Ford trucks quite a bit so hopefully this video was helpful and look forward to talking to some of you through the auction process. Here's one final look. <clears throat>